The FIA European Track Racing Championship 2018 reaches its fifth event at Most in the Czech Republic. Most and the circuit are enthroned by the Middle Age Castle Henevin from the 12th century. Most of the 67,000 inhabitants are real petrol heads, and located close to Germany, there is a big number of German fans finding their way to the circuit as well. The fifth of the eight race weekends marks the end of the summer break and kicks off the second half of the season. Half-time champion Jochen Hahn has nine podium spots out of 16 races, including six victories. He leads the championship with 188 points in total, an advantage of 57 over Adam Lachko. Reason enough to hear from the drivers how their first part of the season went and which grade they would give themselves for their achievements. Grades go from one to 10. 10 is the highest possible. First up, Jochen Hahn. I've had a good season so far, but also quite a few small mistakes. 10 would be 100% satisfied, so I'd give myself a 9. That's OK. Second ranked Adam Lachko took some time to think about his grade. Too many small incidents prevent him from choosing the same grading as Jochen Hahn. On the first race in Misano, I have some uh, physical problem with uh, my belly. I have operation and after second, third and fourth race I have small issue with the rear tire. I have every race a punch tire but we fight with them with this and uh, we finish on the good uh, places and we collect good points and I think it's the reason why I choose number eight. For Norbert Kish things didn't go his way as planned at the start of the year. He rates himself with a seven. Because we finished the first half of the season in the third position at championship, uh, we went to the podium a lot of times, and that's why it's only seven, because we only went to the podium. And, uh, for example, I couldn't win in, in Hungary in my home race, which was very successful for me in the past. This season, and also in the Slovakia ring, we could only win a reverse grid race, which is, uh, you know, not the, not the thing that I'm aiming for, and that's why only seven. It's the same for Spaniard, Antonio Albafetti. We have uh, very bad luck, you know, sometimes, like in Hungary or Slovakia with this uh, speed control. But I'm very happy with the performance. So I think if we are lucky for the second half of the season, without uh, problems, I think we can be there. Another seven for Steffi Halm, a season full of ups and downs. The worst moment for me was probably at the Nürburgring, sitting in fourth, knowing about the chances to get on the podium and having to quit the race with a punctured tyre. It's my home race, so this was super disappointing for me. Saturday, lunchtime at the Autodrome Most. Timed practice and super pole on the menu for the FIA European Truck Racing Championship. Rain and very difficult conditions for the drivers. A spin for Shane Britton towards the end of super pole and yellow flags ensure that the times of Jochen Hahn, Norbert Kisch, René Reinert and Antonio Albafetti were cancelled. Every driver was set back by three spots. Also Albafetti, the pole setter from Spain. Albafetti was frustrated. In these conditions, uh, it's very difficult to see. I mean, this, the middle sector is quite long, so we were quite fast, and the yellow flag was in the end of the sector. So even if you leave a little bit, you know, for safety, you make a fast sector. So, a little unexpected, Sasha Lentz and Steffi Halm share the front row of the grid. It's the first pole in a main race for Sasha Lentz. It's very hard to assess how the vehicle reacts in the rain. Breaking two metres too late can mean you're out in the gravel, but also that you have a super fast turn. I want to stay safe and see how the race goes. Second on the grid, Steffi Halm. Actually fifth in the super pole, but due to the yellow flag and the penalties, she moved up to second. There are good chances for her to reach the podium 
On row two, local hero and reigning champion Adam Latchko. He's also in the lucky position to have moved up on the starting grid. The officials decide to start behind the pace truck and one more lap with a yellow flag. The drivers get the chance to get used to the very wet conditions on the 4.2 kilometre long track. At the green flag, it's Sasha Lentz with a slight advantage. Adam Latchko already attacks Steffi Halm at the first corner. Due to the better grip of the Freightliner truck, the Czech driver can make his move at the start of lap two. Most of the 90,000 spectators here are Latchko fans. On lap four, there's overtaking amongst teammates. Jochen Hahn in the white and blue Iveco passes Stefan Hahn in the white and orange colours, number 44. Hahn moves up to third. One lap later, on board with Adam Latchko. Latchko is closing on Sasha Lentz and then easily passes the German on the inside line. Latchko leads, Lentz drops to second. Here in the rain, we all have to find the best line and fight the very limited traction. Adam found a good line and had the better traction in the rain. He was on the inside line then and I had to let him pass. Being more aggressive in this situation could have been dangerous for both of us. Lap after lap, Halm has to fight Alba Fete and Kish. Luis Rathenko from Team Truck Sport Lutz Bernau is one of those who has to experience how fast you are to find the limit. On lap seven, Alba Fetti, Kish and Kurzim are all able to pass Steffi Halm. She drops back from fourth to seventh. Alba Fetti is the first one to move ahead. Then Norbert Kish lines up to make an attack on the inside and he too gains track position. That opens the door for Andre Kurzib to come up to challenge as well. Kurzib powers up the inside and takes the place. On board with Rafanko. Here he's behind Irving Klein Nagelvoort, but he's too early on the power and starts to spin. It's all good entertainment for the fans, though. The Czech fans are set to be delighted. Adam Latchko is on target for a race win. Up to the chequered flag, Adam Latchko takes the win two seconds ahead of Sasha Lentz and five and a half ahead of Jochen Hahn in third place. Latchko celebrates his second victory of the season. Even happier is Sasha Lentz with his almost perfect drive. I think it's perfect because it's a home race and it's very important for us. And on the first race, first place, it's uh, perfect. Sasha Lentz between the champions of the last two years. In second, Jochen Hahn taking third place. The drivers head to the podium. result of the first race at Most. You'll notice Rene Reinert is the man that takes 8th place and that means it's pole position for race 2. He moved up from 12th to 8th in the opening race but a great win for Adam Latchko.
For race two, it is René Reinert, the haulage contractor with his blue MAN, who takes first position on the grid. I had a very good feeling in race one. The truck felt really good and I think we found a solid setup for these conditions. I also felt very good and so I could move up from 12th to 8th and take pole for race two. Of course, the rain is very tough for us with the trucks. We don't have rain tyres and so I do hope for some better conditions. Second on the grid again, Steffi Halm. And on the second row, Andre Kurzim in number 11, and next to him, his teammate from last year, Norbert Kish, third in the championship. The fans are ready, and again, as in race one, the track is extremely wet. It's the same procedure as in the first race of the day. Two formation laps behind the pace truck, and then another lap under the yellow flag. We're on board with Norbert Kish in his Mercedes-Benz. After a disappointing sixth in race one, he really wants to get on the podium now. Here, he's in a close fight with Andre Kurzim in the yellow Iveco. On lap two, passes Kurzim and moves up to third. Kurzin is dropping back now and is passed by Alba Fete. And also Jochen Hahn is next in the queue. Kurzin from Don't Touch Racing is now only in sixth. Lap three, Hahn and Alba Fete are side by side. They have a bit of contact. Hahn goes off the track but is able to continue in the race. The track was fantastic. I could push quite hard even in those conditions. And in the left downhill turn, Antonio and me were side by side. I was on the outside line. I wanted to leave him some space, but he couldn't. He had to deal with aquaplaning and so hit my side quite hard. The, the bad luck is that I was with the steering like this. So when I contact with Jochen, my uh, front axle, one of the supports of the front axle broke and then the axle was going like that. So it was a shame because I tried to continue, but I can turn to the right hand side, but I can not turn to the, to the left hand side. So I have to, to stop. Norbert Kish is on his way to the front. On lap six, the Hungarian starts to make more progress up through the order, going ahead of Steffi Halm. Halm seems to be struggling in these difficult conditions, but Norbert Kish is charging. He's now up to second. Pulling the pin on this race was just the right decision from Antonio Albafetti. From the onboard, it's clear to see that this spin could have been extremely dangerous for him and Stefan Fass. On the last three laps, we see the best fight of the season. Reinert, Latchko and Kish. René Reinert is leading. Behind him, it's Latchko and Kish trying to find a way through. Each of these three has the chance to take the win here. Reinert is still leading. On the penultimate corner, Kish third. On the last corner, Latchko goes all in. Reinert on the inside, Latchko on the outside with the better traction of the Freightliner, and he comes round the outside to take the win away from Reinert. He wins over the very last few metres to take his second consecutive win of the weekend. A brilliant move, a great drive. No disappointment though for Reinert. And congratulations from the Czech, who took that last gasp win. I was trying very hard to stay in front and try to block a bit in every turn, but Latchko and Kiss were a bit faster than me. In the end, I almost made it, but Latchko launched his final attack and was successful. Of course, it's a bit unfortunate to only be second, but I think we put on a great race, and so I'm satisfied.
ähm, nach so einem Rennen trotzdem zufrieden? Ich lese alle drei Laps, wo es möglich ist. Und das ist nur ein Platz, wo er einen Mistake macht. Und ich hoffe, er auch in der letzten Lap, lap in der letzten Corner. Und wenn ich sehe, er geht in die Lap und ich sage, okay, jetzt muss ich es Das ist die letzte Lap. I try and after it's coming the first place. Adam Latchko for the second time today is a winner at the Autodrom Most. Adam Latchko ahead of Rene Reinert and Norbert Kisch. The results of a memorable race confirm the win for Adam Lachko from Rene Reiner, Norbert Kisch third ahead of Steffi Halm with Andre Kurz in fifth and Jochen Hahn sixth after that contact. Adam Lachko everywhere. Also on Friday during the truck parade, the 33-year-old from Prague was the centre of attention. Everybody wanted an autograph or a photograph with the champion, Adam Latchko. Sunday noon, it's dry, still wet during the qualifying, and that is why Mr. Rain King Adam Lachko took pole. I think uh, with Jochen we have uh, every time nice battle, and uh, we will see on the first chicane, because here is the first chicane, it's very narrow, and we will see. Yeah. Mrs. Lachko so seems to know that the chances for another victory for her husband would be better with some rain. The start. This time the normal procedure and the full 11 laps. Latchko and Jochen Hahn off the front of the grid. Hahn with the better acceleration and he takes the lead. <laughs> Behind Hahn, the fight for second is between Latchko and Sasha Lentz. Conny Hahn, Jochen Hahn's father, is on site at every race, watching his son extending the lead, and Adam Latchko losing some bodywork. The Czech is still aiming for another podium finish, though. Behind him, Sasha Lentz, and then Norbert Kisch in his black tactical Ference fancy truck. Lap 7, on board with Shane Brayton. He seems to be stuck behind Andre Kurzim. Britain and Kurzim are eighth and ninth. Britain, a winner here last year, goes for the inside line and makes his move. I braked Andre. He, I thought he braked early, and I managed to brake, get on the power, come into the corner alongside him. But it was like he didn't know I was there, and just the front wheels touched. And he sort of moved straight over, and unfortunately, I saw him go on the gravel. British racing style? No, no, I think he wasn't paying attention. Andre Kurzin in a slight drift towards the gravel. Up front, it's still Jochen Hahn. Two laps to go. Latchko is second. Behind him, Lentz, Kish, and Albafetti. On the last corner of the last lap, Jochen Hahn drifting in happiness. It's season victory number seven for Hahn. He's followed home by Latchko and Lentz. The check in the dry conditions not as dominant as in the rain the day before. It's a delighted Jochen Hahn and Sasha Lentz is happy too with another podium. Hahn and Latchko discuss the situation right after the start. Jochen Hahn calms down the Latchko festival a bit and continues his own winning run. Every weekend there's been at least one victory for the German.
Here are the results. Jochen Hahn, Adam Latchko and Sasha Lentz, the top three. Shane Brereton taking eighth and therefore pole for race two. Brereton also leads the Grammar Truck Cup and he was a winner here last season. But before that, it's time for the around 100 show trucks. And their drivers. Or their female drivers. For race four, Shane Brereton is on pole position with good memories from last year. Here, the Brit won his very first FIA ETRC race, also in race four. I got Rennie behind me, Albuquerque and Rodriguez, so I got some fierce competition. Last year, I was very lucky because uh, David and Sasha had a big fight and I was able to run. Next to Britain, Portuguese driver Jose Rodriguez in the blue and yellow truck number 14. Another 11 laps to go until we know the last winner of the weekend. Who will open the champagne? Rodriguez off the start, already ahead of Brereton. Into the first chicane, Brereton gets hit by Reinert. Albafetti then gets by Brereton as well. The Spaniard sent to the gravel and drops back to 10th. Britain is third, but under attack from Norbert Kish. The Hungarian gets up the inside, there's more contact, and Britain slides off the circuit. It's a racing incident, that is what the stewards decide later on, so no consequences for Kish. It drops Britain back to seventh. Rene Reinert takes the lead, diving through on the inside of Josie Rodriguez. Reinert started from third. Two laps later, Kish passes Rodriguez and moves up to second. Lap three, on board with Jochen Hahn. Just in front of him, Latchko and Lentz. Latchko, leaving the chicane, has better traction and makes the move to pass Lentz. The following Hahn slots in behind and also moves ahead of the German. That puts Latchko and Hahn up to fourth and fifth. The championship leader, Jochen Hahn, is directly behind the man that lies second, Adam Latchko. Hahn wants to collect points for the championship and stays calm behind the check. The two of them run together, Latchko fending off Hahn. They could barely be closer. René Reiner takes the win, his first of the 2018 season. Norbert Kirsch is second, and Jose Rodriguez comes home third. After being very close the day before, all the effort has paid off for Reiner and his team. Every mistake you make in these races is immediately used by the other drivers, so I really had to concentrate. Luckily, I could hold my position and take home the first win of the season. Rodriguez showed a very strong race as well. For the first time this season, he's on the podium of an FIA ETRC race. It's a delighted René Reinert, his first victory of 2018. The results of race four of the weekend here at Most confirm the win for René Reinert from Norbert Kish with Jose Rodriguez third. Adam Latchko fourth ahead of Jochen Hahn, Sasha Lentz in sixth place. The best driver in the Grammar Truck Cup is Ollie James, the teammate of Adam Latchko. Two wins, another podium, and as many points as no other Grammar Cup driver.
For me, it's a really, really big uh, plus point, and it means that in this season, we have done uh, a very good job bef uh, from the beginning of the season, where we had uh, really big problems trying to find the pace. And now, after the break, we seem to be in a good place. Jochen Hahn still leads the championship, 48 points ahead of Adam Latchko. The next stop is Zolder in Belgium.